Euh, bonjour à euh, tout le monde euh, et bienvenue chez Parfum Prononcé. Euh, je m'appelle Jérôme, I'm Jérôme, et uh, je suis de retour. Uh, I'm on my way back. Uh, so I'll probably be, um, the plan is to make a video uh, every so often uh, when the mood strikes and talk about um, new releases, things going on in the fragrance community, Fragcom, whatever. Um, and also anything having to do with uh, the French language uh, and its relationship with uh, fragrance. There's a new, uh, there's a new Sauvage uh, and I've been watching videos about it uh, on YouTube, you know, Jensen's Fragmental, Aaron Terrence Hughes, he hasn't done a video about, I don't think about, maybe he has about uh, the, the newest Dior, uh, Oakvort, um, but I don't, I don't know if he has, uh, but anyway, I've been watching whatever videos I can on YouTube about the fragrance, uh, I have smelled it, um, but yeah, and, and all the videos that I saw, uh, everyone was, was pronouncing, um, the name of the fragrance incorrectly. And I, and I guess I understand it. I understand why, uh, they're doing it. Um, but they don't, I'm, I, I hope to correct that. Uh, so the new Sauvage is, uh, and also it, it, it will, I'll impart a little French grammar lesson here. Um, so the new Sauvage is, uh, is called Eau Forte. Like, and that means in French, strong water, basically. Eau is, uh, water. It's a, it's a feminine noun. Um, and the adjective comes after the noun and the adjective in this case is more or less strong, right? Um, so strong water and every, every video that I've seen, ev like without exception, Everyone is pronouncing this as O Forte. O Forte. And it's not O Forte. It's just, it's not O Forte. And it's, it's been driving me absolutely batty to the point where I like busted out my little camera stand and wanted to make a video. Um, sort of. Yeah. Anyway, it's been driving me crazy. Um, yeah, it's not, and it, and it also like it, how how hard is it to look up this pronunciation of a word? It's not that hard. If you go to f o r v o dot com, forvo dot com, you can literally type in any word that exists, and there will be multiple pronunciations in various from various nationalities and you know regions and countries and stuff like that. So there's there's just no there's just no excuse for it. Like it's a little thing, it's a little thing, but it just gets on my nerves. Um, with every video that I see, you know, it's, uh, the new Sauvage O Forte. And I'm just like, why? Okay. So let's correct that, um, right here. It's not Forte. Okay. It's not, um, it is Forte. So the best way, like if you can't make the R in the back of your throat, um, uh, if you can't make the French R, the best way to, um, think about it is just to pronounce the, the English word Fort. Like building a fort with your with your kids or with your you know when you were a kid with your friends or whatever, um, that's how you pronounce. In this particular case, um, that word uh, describing the fragrance. Uh, o is it's not always fault fault. It's not always used that way. Um, that's the feminized version of that adjective because it's describing something that is a feminine noun, uh, grammatically speaking, which is water in French, O. O is a feminine noun. And so you need to feminize the adjective. You need to make the adjective agree with the noun that it's describing. And in French, the adjectives come after the noun. Um, so most of the time, not a lot of the time, when you feminize an adjective in French, you usually just have to add an E to the end of the word. And then that will make you have to pronounce the last consonant sound. So if you think F O R T is the masculine version of that adjective, and that would be pronounced F, like the letter or the number four, or you can think about it like that, like four, four, you could say it like that.
So the masculine form of that adjective would be pronounced for, F-O-R, and you don't pronounce the T. The T, the T would go unpronounced. It's one of the goofy, sexy things about French is that there are letters there that you just have to know not to pronounce. Um, and the word for in French is, is one of them. However, in this case, it's describing something that is feminine, so we need to make the adjective feminine, and in which case we add an E to the end of the word for, and it becomes fort. So that E at the very end makes you have to pronounce the T. So the pronunciation changes between masculine and feminine. So it's it's pronounced O, like you like saying the letter O. You just say O. And then if you want, like, if you don't want to try to make the sound um, or sound French, um, you just, you would just say fort, O fort. Just say O fort. That's what it is. That's how it's pronounced. If it was French, it would be Dieu uh, sauvage, O fort. That would be the pronunciation, uh, a pretty good pronunciation of, of, of that new fragrance. So please stop pronouncing it forte. Stop. Just stop pronouncing it forte. It's not forte. It's not forte. There's no accent over the E. It's not forte. Do like two seconds of research before you pronounce that, that fragrance or, you know, do a 10, 20 minute video on it or whatever. Um, that, with that all being said, again, and just to recap, O is a feminine noun. The adjective that follows it has to be feminized as well. We add an E to the end of the word F-O-R-T and it becomes F-O-R-T-E and that makes us pronounce the word fault. That's the feminized version of that particular adjective, which means strong. So strong water. Is it strong? No, uh, no, no, it's not strong. Um, I wanted to like it. I, I wanted to like it. And I wanted to, I wanted to like it enough to buy it, and I didn't. Um, I did try it. I sprayed it on um, my uh, forearms and on my neck and on my shirt, um, and I. It was nice. It was nice. Um, it it, it kind of smelled like a fresh, spicy deodorant to be totally honest it smelled like a fresh spicy deodorant um that's what i was that's what was going through my head when i was smelling it um it was very very pleasant i mean this is this is uh francis kirk dion uh who's the perfumer the in-house perfumer now at dior and he also has his own um fragrance house but yeah um i love his stuff i love a lot of his stuff um and i just recently got his oud just the regular, regular oud, the eau de parfum, um, not the silk mood or the satin mood or the whatever other moods there are. I just wanted the regular one because it was it's just so clean and clinical. But anyway, yeah. So um, you know, it's his first kind of release in the uh, uh, not in the privé line or not in the exclusif or whatever line that Dior has that's like above like what you would find it at Sephora and, and, and stuff. This has been his first like major release uh, in, in, uh, in a commercial uh, way, I guess. Uh, and it's this, it's this new Sauvage. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it smelled like, if there was any radiance to the fragrance whatsoever, any, uh, it would, it would, that would be um, helpful. Uh, but there's just absolutely zero radiant radiance. It's a it's a water based fragrance, so it's not gonna. It wasn't pumping off me at all. Um, that that aspect is just not there. Um, you'll catch whiffs of it of yourself as you're moving around for like the first hour or two. But after that, it's like you're kind of just kind of searching for it, and it becomes a skin scent. There's no. There's so little projection. So little projection. Um, uh, which makes sense because it's a water-based scent, I guess. And also, it's being a water-based scent. There's I, I, I haven't I, di I didn't look diligently at the box um, when I picked it up off the shelf. Uh, but I believe that there's an expiration date on the box, and I believe it's twelve months. And I like almost out of the gate, like I wouldn't buy a fragrance if it had an expiration date. Like being an ex Creed fanboy. I like to hang on to my fragrances for a number of years. Um, and a lot of them, 
they get they get better you know um so that was a major strike against it being the water-based fragrance which is just so stupid it's just so so stupid like why 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 did you have to do that like the advertising campaign campaign hasn't been like oh, oh overdone you know i haven't seen it everywhere uh it's been kind of like a, a relatively under the ra radar release um from sauvage as opposed to the elixir the elixir was everywhere uh and the elixir is fantastic by the way uh so i guess basically to sum it up uh it smells like a fresh spicy very well done obviously a fresh spicy deodorant that doesn't really perform all that well um and has very little projection and is most certainly not worth the price tag uh that you're gonna pay for it i don't know what it is it's like 190 i want to say for whatever the bigger size bottle is uh so yeah maybe 100 mil maybe 100 mil is 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 200 bucks i don't know anyway you, you can look it up it's 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 a pricey fragrance and for a fragrance with an expiration date on it like that like it's 12 months and then it's but it's gonna go bad or it's gonna start to go bad or whatever like please like so if you're if you watch this video and you're looking for a reason like i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't give you that reason to go out and buy it because a lot of times that's what we want we just want to see somebody pray something and then we're like that's all i needed to go out and buy it um so i'm sorry i couldn't provide you with that um just because i'm just being blatantly honest i don't i don't think it's worth the money and i don't think it's a particularly um it's not a mind-blowing fragrance at all like i said it smells like a fresh spicy deodorant like honestly that's that was the thought that i had and i had my little one with me um my daughter uh when we went in and we were walking out i was like it smells like a fresh spicy deodorant um but anyway uh and when i say that i don't mean like I'm a very well done fresh spicy deodorant, like a very, very well done, but, but still, like I said, lack of performance, lack of projection and uh, an expiration date. It's you know, water based. Like it's just, is it's just a miscue and I, I didn't buy it and I wouldn't buy it. If you're a collector and you have all the others, like I do, I have all the others. Um, and you have money to burn, like by all means, go do it, like go do it um buy it but uh, unless you're like super unless you're like a unless you're like a collector right, who like just can't say no and who has money to burn you can definitely pass on this frag and honestly here's what i think is going to happen i think that they're going to take whatever it is that they did with this new one and i think they're going to release it in an alcohol based form like format uh, and i think that will be very interesting i think that will be very interesting and i think it'll be good um yeah because it'll be a fragrance that, that what won't go stale in 12 months time you know um so i think that i think there is something there that can be worked with i think there is something there that could be improved upon um and i think that's probably what's going to happen i think I, unless unless they drop some brand new fragrance from like and they just diverge from the from the sauvage line and from the uh, Dioram line uh, which I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they do, maybe they don't, I don't know. I mean, Dior is a fantastic house, fantastic house. So who knows what's in store there. But, um, but yeah, um, I feel, I, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that, uh, on that fragrance. Cause I was super jazzed about it when I first heard about it. And then, um, before I realized that it was an actual, actually water-based fragrance and then, the expiration date and all that kind of stuff and the fact that when i did smell it it was like kind of mid um yeah so those are my thoughts on uh, the new uh sauvage uh oh fort and you can just pronounce it oh fort okay and you can take that to the bank you, you do not pronounce it forte it's not forte please stop saying forte um so other 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 things uh for me my scent of the day i'm gonna try to talk about that each time i scent. right now i'm wearing uh the original uh the original spice bomb just the edt uh, i just had a hankering for something spicy and it was a little cool it's getting a little cool in the, in the in the in the evening um and uh and then my 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 day scent my work scent has been why uh, by
by Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, just the just the EDT, like the most basic EDT. And I have the EDP and I have the Parfum. Um, but yeah, I've just been driving the 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 Y EDT like for for a number of days now. I wish it had a little bit little bit better longevity, but I do put it to work. Like I work outside now and. So I'm not surprised that it doesn't last all day. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, th those are my, those are my, the Y has been my daily driver. And then uh, the, the, I'm wearing Spice Bomb now just to kind of relax uh, in the evening. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next video. Uh, take care, be well, God bless. Et, uh, à bientôt, au revoir.